These are Specialised Cannibal T9. Might be the best tyre I've ever ridden. I've changed my tyres. It's got really dusty out and kind of quite slippy. It made me start thinking about tyres a bit. And then I saw Jordan Williams win the World Cup uh, this weekend. His first ever elite um, win, which was super impressive. And he rides these tyres. These are specialised cannibal downhill casing, soft compound, T9 compound. Super grippy, awesome tyre. And if they're winning World Cups, it must be the reason why he won. It can't be any other reason. So that there's no excuse for me not to go as fast with these tyres on. But to give you a bit of insight about what I have been riding, I've been riding these on the stock tyres, which is the Butcher on the front and the Eliminator on the rear, which are single ply. So there's only one thickness of rubber and um, tire casing in the actual sidewall. But you can see how kind of floppy it is. And when you've got the rim in the center there, what happens is the tire tends to roll like this in corners and you can hear this in like shroud, the shroud noises, which are really fun and make you sound like a bit of a legend. But on single ply tires, you're probably not going that fast to actually shroud them. So to counteract that, I was running a cush core. And the cush core just moves that fulcrum point from the rim halfway up the tire and just gives you a little bit more control on the edge. And it did feel really nice. But because these are dual ply, so they've got two layers of sidewall protection in them, they're a little bit stiffer, a little bit more stable. And I reckon I can get away with not running a cush core. So I reckon they'll be just as predictable, probably a little bit better in terms of the roll, they won't roll so much and burp. Um, and I think that plus that is probably the same weight as the current cannibal that I've now got on, but let's weigh them. I think there's people, lots of people have weighed these, but that's showing two, two five grams with two zip ties. Let's, let's, let's weigh the zip ties, I guess. Just counteracting any comments, one gram. Okay, so 224. So rear tire now as well. I'm comparing rear to rear, so 27.5. They're both 2.4. Uh, this is worn down a little bit as well, so you've probably got a little bit of wear off the tire, but let's, uh, let's weigh this one. That is 858 grams. That is a light tire. On an e-bike, maybe that's not the most ideal tire. That's quite lightweight. Um, probably fantastic for a uh, like lightweight trail bike or something like that. But let's compare it to the Cannibal, which is 1,283 grams. So there's quite a big difference there. So that is heavier actually than the old tire with the Cush Core. So I might notice that on the bike, but let's go for a ride and find out. Right. <laughs> Next one. This one's a bit easier. Watch this. Okay, so. Well, that is quite different. Okay, so we've done some flat turns. Here we go. Oh, oh. ow! Ow, there's a stump. I hit my foot on a stump. Oh, yeah, that stump there. 
Oh, I whacked my foot. Okay. <laughs> Let's um, see what it's like in the loam. There's a brand new track here with a big dusty corner. Let's see what it's like. Mess this one up. <laughs> That's dusty. So hit hit this loam corner, and I'm used to kind of braking quite a lot into it, letting off the brakes, and then letting the tyres go. I think because it's so much more grippy. I'm having to like second guess my braking. I could have gone through there way quicker, I think. So I'll try going quicker. But one thing I also wanted to try was reducing the pressure because they're currently at 30 PSI and they feel brilliant. They're really grippy, but I want to reduce the pressure and just see what happens. So I brought me a handy trail side pressure gauge. We'll drop the pressure I'll go quite big. I'll go from 30 PSI to, I don't know, 24 in the rear, 23 in the front, something like that. And then we'll see what it's like. So let's do that now. Twenty-four. Wow, oh, so many pine cones are so slippy. It's like riding on marbles. Tree marbles. Right, I need to go a bit quicker into this corner. I think, I think I can. You good? Yeah. So reduce the tire pressure and and it's interesting because World Cup teams and pro riders do a lot of testing and a change of tire you'd think it's just a tire but really it dictates absolutely everything it sets up the attitude of the bike because of the grip level uh, it, it makes your brakes work properly because of the because of the grip um, the weight of them changes the way that the bike maneuvers changes everything and I haven't ridden a downhill grippy tyre for a long time, so this is quite an eye-opener for me. I know Steve, my colleague's been on these tyres for a long time, and I do find it hard to keep up with him, and uh, I'll, I'll put it down to tyres, so no excuse now. That's the one. Tires really are the best upgrade you can put on your bike for the least amount of expenditure. 150 quid, you can transform your riding, transform your bike, and all we have to do is just fit a good set of tires. I would say, personally, this bike has improved by 30 to 40% today. It, it's really that much different over the stock tires. Um, super controlled, just, just brilliant. So. Definitely the most important component on a bike. Uh, it dictates everything. So yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna uh, get the best bang for your buck, buy some good tires. Specialized Cannibal tires are really, really good. They're really grippy, uh, and they will make you go faster. Um, they'll make you rethink how fast you can go. And I am blown away. I'd like to try them in the wet. I'd like to try them on rock and maybe some bike park stuff as well. So this isn't a long-term test. This is my initial thoughts, but they're absolutely awesome. And on an e-bike, there's really no excuse for not having a, 
big chunky downhill tire really there's no point in having a light tire so i'll do some more testing we'll we'll try some other locations and some other conditions but right now might be the best tire i've ever ridden We were just chatting about pro probably the, the classic downhill tire, the Minion DHR, uh, DH casing, max grip, soft compound tire. And actually, I put pro well, Steve thought we should probably uh, weigh this so you've got an idea what it is in comparison to the, uh, to the Cannibal. So, 1,281, it's exactly the same weight. So, hopefully that gives you lots of great information. 